Welcome to Digital Electronics with Mr. Esterbrooks. Today we're going to be talking about combinational logic. Now we're going to cover three topics, all interrelated. First is AOI logic symbols, and truth tables, and logic expressions. Now all three of these are basically just different ways of representing the same information. The first one, logic symbols, is sort of a graphic representation of uh, a digital logic component. So each one of these is like a component, sort of like your uh, analog components, capacitors and resistors, only they take, in the case of uh, digital input uh, circuits, they take inputs on the left and outputs on the right. So your data flow is always going left to right in these circuits. Now the, this one here, the triangular one, is an inverter. It's only notice one input, one output. In every case they'll have one output, uh, but this one here is an OR gate which has two inputs and one output, and then the AND gate down here also has two inputs and one output. Now there are a lot of other gates that have uh, multiple inputs, three, four, five, six, and more, but these are the three we're going to be talking about today, AND or an inverter, and that's where we get the term AOI logic from. Now we're also going to be talking about truth tables. Basically the way truth tables are uh, uh, set up, it's like a table, um, this represents a two input uh, gate. So you have X and Y are your inputs, and then Z is your output. So in the table you have every combination of inputs. So for two inputs you have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, and then you map the output for each of those combinations of inputs. That's why it's called combinational logic. Alright, the third topic we're going to talk about is logic expressions. And essentially, it's just another way of representing the digital logic, but it's more of a sort of mathematical equation formula sort of look. All right, so we'll start with the AND gate. Now again, on the left we have our inputs, and we call them X and Y. And on the right we have our output, Z. So here's the truth table representation. Basically the way an AND gate works, the output Z will be true, or high, only if both inputs are true or high. So if you look at the truth table, notice here the output is true only when both X and Y are true, right? If they're both zero, Z is zero. If X is zero and Y is one, Z is zero. If X is one and Y is zero, Z is zero. It's only true, the output is only true if both inputs are true. That's why they call it an AND gate. So if we wrote the logic for this, basically the logic uh, expression, I should say, we would say Z equals X times Y. Or you could write Z equals XY. That's the most compact way and that's the way we'll be writing it, just like you'd, you would in math class with the formula of X times Y. So AND is represented by um, XY, X times Y essentially. Next we'll be talking about the OR gate, uh, and the OR gate is basically your output Z will be true if either X or Y is true. So let's take a look at the truth table. We have all possible combinations of X and Y inputs, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And you'll notice the only time Z is uh, false, or 0, is if both X and Y are also 0. Because in this case, Y is true, so therefore Z is true, because X or Y is, uh, evaluates to true. In this case, X is true, and so Z is true. And of course, in the last case, both X and Y are true, so Z is true. Now the way we would write the logic expression for this, Z equals X or Y, right? Now notice it's a plus sign, but that's how we represent OR in digital logic expressions. So moving on to our third type of gate uh, in AOI logic, we have our inverter gate. Notice the inverter gate only has one input and one output, so the truth table only has one input. Now the possible combinations are 0 and 1, but notice what happens is Z is the opposite or the inverse of the input. So if X is 0, Z is 1. If X is 1, Z is 0, and that's all an inverter gate does. 
And what you'll notice is this little circle here is a common uh, symbol that we'll use throughout uh, digital electronics to mean sort of a, a negative or an inverse um, on, in different applications. Um, so the way we would write the logic expression for the inverter gate, z equals not x, with a bar over the x. All right, so that pretty much sums up the basics of AOI logic. And um, they call it combinational logic, again, because the combination of inputs is what determines the output. So we have and, whoops, or, and inverter gates are the three types of gates that we'll be using with AOI, uh, AOI logic. So um, logic and circuit, uh, digital circuits that are created just with and, or, and inverter gates are known as AOI designs. And those are the first group of uh, circuits that we'll be building, that we'll be designing and building. Now remember, AOI logic is just one type of combinational logic. There's all kinds of other types of gates, um, such as XOR gates, XNOR gates, NAND gates, and, uh, X, all, all kinds of other things we'll be getting into late, later on down the road. But to start with, you have to have a good grasp of the basic AOI logic and um, how it's implemented. And that concludes our lesson for today.